Desert Hot Springs is a very unique place. We are known for our very special water. We have both hot and cold water underground. The hot and cold water are separated by fault lines that run deep into the earth. We drink the cold water and use the hot water to heal our bodies of pain. Even though the desert is a very hot and harsh climate, people have lived here for thousands of years. The first hot water spa in Desert Hot Springs were built over 60 years ago, and people still come from all over the world to soak in the mineral-rich hot springs. We have hot springs because there are cracks below the Earth's surface that run deep into the Earth and the geothermal heat from the center of the Earth reaches the water. The Swiss Health Resort on 8th Street showed us how their spa works. First, Water is brought up from a well that is 300 feet in the ground. Next, the water flows into indoor pools that keep the temperature of the water around a very warm 98 degrees. The water goes from the hot pools into outdoor pools that is about 90 degrees. The water then runs into a pond that is a happy home for many koi fish and 13 turtles. A pump uses the water one more time. It pulls water out of the pond to irrigate the grass and flowers that make the property look beautiful. All of the water is recycled back into the earth from which it came and will eventually make its way back into the aquifer so people can use the water again. The water beneath the ground is called groundwater. The water is cleaned by an aquifer. An aquifer is an underground layer of rock, sand, and silt, and people dig wells to get the water out of the ground so they can drink it and use it for washing and cleaning. We take water from the aquifer to use it in our homes. The average person uses 100 gallons of water a day. Some of the water is replenished by rain and snow from the San Gorgonio mountain. The melted snow and rainfall follow a trail down the mountains into desert hot springs. It is called Mission Creek and your family can visit there if you would like. It is a wildland preserve that is kept safe and clean by park rangers. The water from Mission Creek goes back into the underground aquifer and eventually make its way into our homes. But we have to be careful because we could take out more water than we put back in. Out of all the water on earth, only 3% of that water is fresh water that people can drink. And of that 3%, only 2% of that water is liquid. The rest is frozen in glaciers so it is not available for us to use. The good news is that there are lots of things kids can do to conserve water. You can wet your toothbrush and then turn off the water while you brush your teeth. This saves 8 gallons of water. You can turn off the water when you wash your hands and only rinse them off when you are done soaping them up. You can take a shower instead of a bath. You can save up to 20 gallons of water. In order to see where all the water we use goes, we took a trip to the treatment plant. Two million gallons of water are cleaned here each day. As the water comes in, it goes through grinders that crush all of the trash and objects that are in our water. Sometimes people accidentally drop plastic things like glasses and cell phones into the water supply. The grinder is strong enough to crush everything in the water, but having plastic in our water is not good. Be careful not to drop anything into our water supply. The water leaves the grinder and goes into cleaning pools, and oxygen is added so the solid waste separates from the liquid. You can see the solid waste as it rises to the top of the water. A mechanical arm stirs the water and scrapes all of the waste 
from the top of the water into storage tanks. The water makes its way into three different cleaning pools until it is clean enough to be put back into the percolation ponds so that it can go underground into the aquifer. All of the solid materials that are removed from the water goes through a grinder and a heater until only solids are left. The solids are loaded up into trucks and taken to the landfills. If we keep our water clean, we don't have to dump all of these solids into landfills that pollute the earth. We all have to do our parts to keep Desert Hot Springs clean. Put your trash in the garbage cans and never dump anything in the desert. Keeping our water clean is everyone's job. If you see your friends littering, tell them to stop and pick up their trash. Littering is just not cool. Join the litter bug and keep our town clean and keep our water pure. Why are you throwing your trash on the ground? Are you kidding? This place is a mess. Who cares? We care! Don't you know that water is underground? As your garbage breaks up, it will go underground and make its way into the aquifer. It will pollute our water, and garbage makes our town look bad. I'm sorry, litter bug. I'll never litter again.